And September is bringing us some very good games. So I was thinking, right, if I'm on a budget and I can only afford three games, what would it be? So here are my top three games that I picked out that you must buy the essentials, the games that will carry you through the month of September. So let's check them out. Alright, coming in at number three is Surge 2. Now I played the first one, I absolutely loved it. It was kind of like Dark Souls, everyone says that, right? But for some reason, like Surge had its own uniqueness to it. Like it was dark, it was very mature, very lonely and sad. And I know Dark Souls like that too, but for some reason, like I'm telling you, Surge ha is, is its own vibe, its own thing going on and it's re it's really unique so I loved it so I'm super glad they're making Surge 2 because I could use some more Surge in my life so yes absolutely number three for the no month of September so let's check out number two Nintendo does it again. They brought us another great Zelda game. Love their franchise. You can never go wrong with the Zelda franchise. And the good thing is it's on Switch and I love the Switch. You can take it anywhere, play it anywhere. So this is a great buy for your Switch. Plus I never got to play the original one. So this is like a great opportunity for me to go back and enjoy the game that all my friends been talking about, but I never had a chance. And it's like upgraded. It looks beautiful. It kind of reminds me of Earthbound for some reason. I don't know why but i do love the artwork i do love how they presented this game this is a must buy hands down no argument it's number two though but that doesn't mean it's not a good game it's just man september was a hard month but regardless this is a must buy for sure All right, coming in at number one is Grief Ball. Now this was very hard because the month of September did have a lot of good games and man, I mean even Link's Awakening, but honestly, Grief Ball took the cake for me because it reminds me of The Witcher, Dragon Age, Mass Effect, Fable, and if I feel like it squeezes all those games that I love into one. And you know, I'm giving it, I'm giving it a chance, you know. Now this is Spider's first game. So we don't know how good of a AAA title it'll be, but looking at it, I mean, come on, it looks great. Combat scenes fluid, customization, a lot of things that, you know, us RPG fans, open world fans 
love are in this game so why not right give it give it a chance you know let's support them and i'm really hoping this one turns out to be the game of the month so this is my number one pick for the month of september what do you think political diplomat or battle hungry warrior zealous hunter or champion of the natives no matter what you choose Forge your own destiny in Greedfall, releasing September 10th on PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and PC. Well, that pretty much wraps it up for the month of September. And boy, oh boy, September, they have some really good games coming out. I mean, they had the Destiny 2 expansion, Gears 5, Phoenix Point, Borderlands 3. But honestly, oh, and then, you know, Monster World 2, they have an expansion coming out. But honestly, you know... I don't know i had to pick my top three because i guess i'm a fan of these games and if i had to pick three because you know you're on a budget you can't be buying games all the time right these were these were the ones these were my picks so i don't know how did you guys feel you guys feel similar to how the way i felt or not really i would like to hear about it so anyways regardless i will see you again so till then you guys stay safe talk to you later Perfect.